All right, so what is good, everybody on YouTube? Happy Sunday, but I'm back with another video, and I've been getting comments for the past few weeks. So if you commented about a sneaker rotation, today is your day. We're gonna do a brand new sneaker rotation video today. So go ahead and smash that motherfucking like button. But before we get into full swing on that, I did want to show two new pickups. My girl was out today. She stopped by the mall and grabbed me two brand new hats from of course y'all you already know commonwealth i'm always in there so over the weekend i wasn't actually able to get to the cultura release party out in norfolk but they did have a hat or two i guess left over so i was still able to get one of the cultura hats and then the second hat she grabbed me was just this c cap it's like a c snapback just with the commonwealth purple tag on the side of the c y'all know i'm always wearing black and white hats so any hat like this is always appreciated so yeah two gifts from bay to start the video off but let's not waste any more time let's get into this week's sneaker rotation so starting off y'all know how i do i don't start my weeks on sundays my weeks start on monday that's when they refresh sunday is like the chill day so for monday i went with the pg1 the shining pair and that KD9 shining joint is dope too. It's an all gray KD9 Elite. I feel like in the future, I'm gonna wait and see if they hit outlets or if they go on sale, but I definitely wanna get a pair of those soon. But these are a killer cozy kick. I know this is a basketball shoe and trust me, they fit like a basketball shoe. These things are super snug on your foot. Just go true to size if you're looking for them though. I feel like there's like a zoom unit right here so you can definitely feel that when you're walking around in them. And just the overall look, I think this is one of Nike's best new looking designs along with that KD9 Elite. I like the regular KD9 as well. And y'all know if y'all watched the vlog, I think I picked these up on my birthday when I was out in Atlanta. When I was out at Lenox, they just randomly had these and that was before they did that second release the second drop of the whole shiny pack this is when these dropped by themselves i got this pair out of the store so monday just a chill day so i went with some cozy basketball kicks just to kick around in pg1 shining definitely one of nike's best new models in my opinion at least so on Tuesday, I took the day off. I don't know, I just don't like posting on Tuesdays. Tuesdays are just usually dead days. So I take that time to usually shoot videos in advance for a different day. So on Tuesday, I wasn't on YouTube, but I was still, I was still walking around the streets in this Y3 Pure Boost. And I got a lot of wear out of these when I was headed to Phoenix, coming back from Phoenix. I never noticed how dirty these actually got. Prime knit, any type of white knit shoe, it's just a straight dust magnet, dirt magnet. It's essentially like wearing white cloth on your foot or like when you have a white t-shirt on wearing that on your foot and you already know you're kicking up dust, rocks, stepping in, stepping out. But even with them being a little dirty just from regular wear, these are still a killer summer shoe. Yes, they do clock in at the $320 price point, bit pricey this is designer designer sportswear i guess you could say but trust me i don't regret this purchase at all it's a nice alternative to just wearing a white nmd or a regular white ultra boost or a white pure boost just putting that little a little flare on it a little wide three flare on those joints so this is another shoe that's going to get a lot of wear this summer if you go for this shoe definitely go a half size down trust me you will not regret it. I usually wear a 12, I got these in 11 and a half and they're perfect. So that was Tuesday, let's go ahead and get into Wednesday. And on Wednesday, I went with a old release that I had that I wore like a few weeks ago, but I decided to bring them out the box one more time at least. And that is the old Flip Air Jordan 3. I remember when these dropped and the reverse Flip 3s dropped as well. I think it was an all black version of the Flip 3. And these things have had their fair share of wear bars. It might be a little hard to see in some of the on foot shots, but trust me, these are cracking. The sole, actual midsole is not cracking, but the paint is definitely chipping off slowly, but surely the shoe is starting to yellow as well, especially back here on the back tabs. You can definitely see the yellowing starting to happen. But I never sold this one. I, I thought about selling it, but I never sold this one because I thought it was a unique pair of Air Jordan 3s. And I just don't see a lot of people wearing these or see a lot of them for sale when I even go to SneakerCon or any sneaker show. Now, I'm not going to say that they're super rare, but I know that when I wear these, I'm 98% of the time not going to see anyone else with this shoe. So that's the flip three for Wednesday. Let's see what I was rocking on Thursday. So for Thursday, I, I've been rocking these pretty heavy. When I wore them on Thursday, I tried to keep them on my feet just to test them out, just to keep them on my feet and see how comfortable these shoes really are. And that is the Nike Air 
Vapor Max. These joints are fire. I, I like them even more after wearing them, feeling them on feet, and just seeing how they do on a regular day's wear. The fly knit upper is extremely comfortable. The air bubbles on the bottom are squishy, but at the same time, like responsive. One thing I really noticed though is like the traction. And it doesn't really seem like this shoe would have a lot of traction given how limited the space is on the bottom of the shoe that's gonna be touching the ground. But with every step on concrete, you can hear these pegs like digging into the concrete. It's a weird detail, but it's something that you're really gonna notice if you do have this shoe on. And after a good days of wear, I'm still standing by this shoe. I think it's fire. A lot of people are trying to trash this one, but trust me, if you put a pair of these on and wear them around, you will understand why I like them so much. So that's Thursday, the Nike Air Vapor Max Fire. So on Friday, y'all know we went to the mall, little slight restock pickup for myself. Threw on some green champion sweats that I've had for actually a while. And I went with this shoe right here, the 2013 Royals. At this point, I am beating them to the ground. That's where these are gonna go next. You guys can already notice there's a bit of hill drag. I tied them up tight. It's just one of those shoes at this point where I just throw it on and it's like whatever because I have <laughs> so many pairs of the new 2017 version. I'm just like, okay, the old version can really get some time and really get some miles put on them. And I still remember going to the mall four years ago and picking this shoe up. Waited two hours in line, which was unheard of for this release. So it wasn't a lot of hard body One hour later. So as I was trying to say before my camera died, I got off real easy with this release as far as camping goes. The year prior in 2012, I spent over 20 hours camping for Bread 11s and Thunder 4s out in the cold, rain, sleet, almost snowy, icy temps. All for Bread 11s and Thunder 4s that barely go for 250 nowadays, depending on where you buy them from. Memories aside though, that was Friday. Let's get into Saturday. So before we get into the kick for Saturday, I just want to say, if you missed yesterday's video, you probably want to go peep that one. But yesterday I did go ahead and throw on the Silver Bullet 97s. They definitely fit really snug at first. Like when I first put them on, I was walking around, I was like, yo, I think I made a mistake. I probably needed, I need like a half size up. A 12 and a half would be perfect. But after wearing for about an hour or two, they felt a lot better on feet. I feel like the materials broke in just a little bit to the point where they weren't hurting or too snug. So if you're gonna go for these next weekend and you have a chance to try them on, I'll definitely say go ahead and try them on. Otherwise, if you get your true size, it's gonna be a little snug at first. Once you wear them and break them in, they're probably gonna be perfect for you. But if you wanna deal with that break in process, you probably just wanna go with a half size up if you can. I wear a 12. Usually can't get 12 and a half, so I either gotta go with 12 or 13. It's either gonna be a little snug or a boat, basically. 13 is size yacht. Now, I just, I don't like wearing size 13 when I know I should be a size 12. So that was Saturday's shoe, the new 97 coming out next weekend. Let me know if you guys are looking forward to this. Trust me, materials, feel, look are on point if you are wondering. And I will have a full review up for these this week. Maybe Tuesday is probably gonna be my day. Tuesday or Wednesday is probably when I put the review up for these. So just be looking out. And next up, but definitely not least up, the last shoe I'm wearing this week for today on Sunday, if I go out. If not, I'm probably gonna be sticking to my sample slides, which are somewhere around here. But if I do go out tonight, I decide that today is the day we un-DS these joints proper. And that shoe is one of my favorite releases already, the Nike SF AF1 tan camo the desert camo now in my opinion the faded olive pair is still definitely the best and maybe even the black and gum at number two but this is probably one of the best colorways definitely one of the best colorways of the sf af1 and probably one of the cheapest on the resale market i think these go for about 200 to 210 to 20 maybe tops and i've seen these all over goat they're all over ebay so if you're looking for an sf af1 one to try i think it's probably going to be one of the best colorways to try out if you guys still want a full review on this colorway of the sf i will do that if you guys ask for it shout out to the homie in phoenix because he personally asked me to do a review on these but i wanted some more people to say hey we want that so I could put that video out just to help out anyone that's looking for this specific colorway. Like I said, man, this is probably the cheapest and most accessible colorway of the SF AF1. And if you're like me, these are fire. They're all over tan, sand colored leather. Then of course you got the nice camel accents at the back, double straps, just one of the craziest 
new Nike Miles. Definitely one of my favorites. If you guys watched my top, I think 15 of 2016, y'all already know where that faded olive SF joint was at. Y'all already know what spot they hold. So guys, that is going to be it for this week's sneaker rotation. Let me know what you were rocking this week and let me know also what was your favorite shoe out of my selection of kicks. PGs, Royals, Y3s, Flip 3s, Silver Bullets, Vapor Max, and to end it off, the SF Boys. So anyways, I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Much love to all the fam, followers, and of course supporters. You guys can find me on Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, Snapchat. The Snapchat is bull.cb, by the way. Here, there, blase blot, of course. Bullet RC. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Y'all be easy. I'm out. Peace.